Hey, what's up guys? I got another super easy ESP8266 project for you. And again, I am using the Wemos D1 board, which is just um, an Arduino Uno size board with an ESP8266 chip on it. And the only hardware we need for this is a display. And you can see I've just soldered some wires here onto the header pins of this little uh, 0.96 inch OLED display. So we've got some power, we got five volts, we've got SDA and SCL. Now that's it. I got this idea from Nick from educates.tv. Let's go take a quick look at the code and then we'll come back and see it in action. All right, here is a quick look at the code for the ESP8266 Wi-Fi weather. And again, I adapted this sketch, it's not my original, by Nick of Educatus TV. Uh, you can download the sketch here at this link, and I will provide it down below in the description. So first we have our libraries, ESP8266 Wi-Fi, uh, wire, we need that for the OLED, Adafruit SSD 1306 for the OLED, and Arduino JSON. Then we're going to create an instance of the Arduino 1306 called display and you need to change this OLED reset argument here to something. The LED built-in works. Apparently you can use just a number but if you just do the old number four it's not going to work. Alrighty then. So we need some information. You're going to need to know your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Now because this sketch uses the openweather.org weather information you're going to need to get an API key from them and know what your city ID is. So in order to do that you just need to come on over here to openweathermap.org put in your city name and copy the number and the API you have to get an API but it's no big deal and it's free alright so then we will start the Wi-Fi client and we will go to api.openweathermap.org and we'll have a string variable called result we'll create an integer variable called counter to keep track of how long it's been since we have checked the weather a string to hold weather description, a string to hold weather location, and these variables will be downloaded. Country, temperature, humidity, and pressure. Now in our setup we have serial begin 9600 for our debug, our display begin, and in this case we need to put that hex address in there. Display, display to show that Adafruit logo, and I'm only showing it on here for 2 milliseconds. Clear the display, set the text size, set the text color, and put it in the upper left corner. Then we're going to send connecting to the display. We're also going to send it to the serial port because if you have a problem with the display, you're not going to know if it's working now, are you? Then we'll start Wi-Fi with our SSID and password. Show everything we just did. Wait a second. Clear the display. Then if we're connected, we're going to print connected, both places, wait a second, show that, wait a second, and clear it. Now we're going to come down here to our loop, and we're going to say if counter equals 60, so that's our 10 minute mark, then we're going to reset the counter, we're going to call this function getting data, wait a second, call the function get weather data. If the counter is not 60 and we have not reached our reload weather time yet, then we'll increment the counter and call the display weather function and return weather location and weather description. Wait for five seconds. We'll call display conditions and return temperature, humidity, and pressure. So here are our functions. The first one is get weather data. 
and this does HTTP stuff, which I'm not all that up on. So, you know, there's that HTTP header. And if it craps out, you get the lovely connection failed to the serial port. Then we have this um, JSON array here, which does all the parsing of the information we just downloaded. And you see those strings that we created, and we'll get them up here. Weather, humidity, and everything is put into the variables here. And then when we display weather in this function, which returns or uses string location and string description, we just print them all out to the OLED, display it, let them sit for two seconds. Then we do our display conditions using the variables temperature, humidity, and pressure. Basically the same thing, we print them out, and then we display them. And then there's just this one last function for getting data, which just displays getting data on the screen. And that's about it. And you can see it uses 23% uh, of program memory and 41% of our dynamic memory, leaving 47,900 bytes. So let's uh, go have a look. All right, let's power it up. Now it's getting the data. There you can see my city and country. Clear skies, five second pause. And there we go. Temperature, humidity, and pressure. Now if I turn out these overhead lights we've got going on here, you'll be able to see this. Maybe a whole lot better or Maybe not. I guess I could be wrong, huh? So that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, plug a battery into this guy and you're self-contained and ready to move. So if you guys like this quick little project, perfect for sharing with the kids or just getting started or, you know, just killing a few minutes, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And I'll see you next time.